Hey everyone, welcome back to Lace Up Channel. My name's Mickey. Today, I'm gonna tell you how a real warehouse management system works. I'm gonna show you how it works and I'm gonna show you how the system combined with the right process could fix your entire warehouse. Now, I keep getting a bunch of customers that reach out to me like, Mickey, I really want a warehouse management system. I really wanna scan product in and out of the warehouse. Whenever I give them a price, they absolutely freak out. They're like, whoa, 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 we weren't expecting to pay that. Well then, you weren't expecting to truly track inventory. You weren't expecting to track your out of stocks. You weren't expecting to look for your expired product or reduce the amount of expired product in your warehouse. You weren't expecting to know exactly what product is on what pallet and what bin. That's what warehouse management means. Now the purpose of today's video is for you guys to pay attention. If you're evaluating a warehouse management system, it doesn't need to be ours. It could be anyone's but they should all have this functionality and that functionality should mesh with the process perfectly so that you make the right decision for your business and so that you track every single product coming into your warehouse and out of your warehouse with an actual process. Anyways, let's get right into it. So any good warehouse management system is based around labeling. You label all the product coming in, you label your racking system and you scan the labels of the product that came in and you scan it into the labels on the rack. So for the purposes of all warehouse management systems, you need two labels. You need a racking label like this and you need a pallet label or case label like this. Very straightforward. Then each of your warehouse employees should have a little scanner, okay? Should look something like this. This is a Zebra TC26. And when you open it, you're normally gonna have a warehouse application that looks a little bit like this. This warehouse, warehouse application is tied directly to your accounting system, or it should be tied directly to a back office system where you can see the inventory live, right? Because from that back office, you're gonna place your purchase orders, you're gonna fulfill sales orders, you're gonna do all of your main bulk operations, and that back office system should connect with this little scanner. So now let's go through each of the functions of the scanner. The scanner, first and foremost, needs to have the option to receive goods. When you receive, okay, you are going to essentially scan against an existing purchase order. Now, as you're scanning against that existing purchase order, the system will calculate or compute any discrepancies. Let's say that the vendor brought you a pallet of 100 cases of an item. Now, let's say you break down that pallet and you count 80. Well, when you're receiving, you would input the 80 right here and the system would automatically make that adjustment for you. Not just that but any good warehouse management system right from the little scanner would have a little print button so that you can print your label. That's the label that's gonna go on those 80 cases or on that pallet of 80 cases all the way around it that contains the product's information, product lot number, product expiration date, product serial number, depending on the type of product we're talking about. That is how you're gonna track the product. Once the product's been received, once you've scanned against the purchase order, the second thing in every good warehouse management system is some kind of check-in module. So if you can see here on this side, there's a little check-in button. That button is designed so that whoever's putting the pallets away, when they come get the product from the receiving bay, they put the forklift in the product, they scan the pallet, and the system will tell them exactly what bin locations have space available for that product. Now the beauty of this is, is that the system should know exactly where you should put the pallet, where it fits, where it doesn't fit, where it belongs, because obviously you don't want somebody taking something extremely light like a carton of eggs and putting it where the bottles are. Because obviously you wanna pick normally in your warehouse from heaviest to lightest, and you wanna run the most efficient route in your warehouse. So when you check in, the system should tell you exactly, exactly where the product goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up a check-in so you can see. Right here, here's the item, okay? And any good warehouse system would tell you exactly what bin location the product goes into. Now, once you go physically check this product into the warehouse, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this scanner, you're gonna shoot the laser to your bin location, okay? And what that's gonna do, it'll check in the pallet that you have into that bin location. Now you know unequivocally that that product, that lot number, that, that manufacturer number, that serial number, whatever it may be, that expiration date is residing within that bin location. Now this is beautiful because when you go pick, now you know exactly where the product is as you're picking. So let's go into the next example. Let's say for instance, that now you have a sales order that came into the system. That sales order calls for 10 or 15 items 
and you need to be able to hand a little scanner like this to somebody in the warehouse so that they can go scan each of the items off the bin locations. So now, every good warehouse application is gonna have a pick order, okay? When you tap on pick order, the system's gonna display to the user all the pending orders in the system. And when they open the order, the system will show the user the order, the products on that order, and what bin locations are located on, sorted by the most efficient pick order. So right here you can see the first item. If you can see in yellow right there, okay? In yellow it shows you exactly what the bin location is for that item. You're gonna go to that bin location, you're gonna take your little scanner and you're gonna scan. When you scan, because you checked in that product, the system will pick up the lot number, the expiration, and the product information and place it on the order that you're picking. Then you're simply gonna work your way down this list here. You're gonna work your way down the list until you're done, at which point you'll finalize. Now any good picking system, when you're done picking an order, will allow you to print out a little packing slip. If you're shipping it, your shipping labels. If you're putting it on a truck, your, your, your sticker that indicates how many pallets are going on the truck for that order. That's what any good picking system should do. So that is how picking should work. Again, you go with your scanner, shows you where to go get the product, scan the bin location, captures the data, and then you print your documentation at the end before shipping the product out or loading it on a truck. So the next logical thing to talk about is transfers. When you pick from a warehouse, the, the product in the picking level depletes and you have to transfer from overstock levels down to picking levels. Any good warehouse management system should tell you exactly where to transfer from and where to transfer to. And when you go transfer, you should have to scan the, the bin that you're going from, you should have to scan the pallet, and then you should have to scan the bin that it's going to when you take it with the forklift down and you put it into its picking bin. Now normally, again, on the scanning device, down here you're gonna see a transfer button, okay? The system will, will ask, where are you transferring from? Simple, from here. Okay, it'll tell me what product's in that bin. And then it'll say, where is it going to? Let's say it's going right here. Okay, and when I'm done, I submit. Now it's gonna generate that transfer. Now remember, I'm doing this by hand because I'm not physically in the warehouse. Normally you wanna scan the bin you're transferring from, scan the bin you're transferring to. Now when you run out of product in your picking bin, a good warehouse management system should tell you exactly where to transfer from and where to transfer to. And that's exactly what this one does. The next thing to talk about is physical inventory counts. For any of you that have ever done physical inventory counts within a warehouse, you know just how difficult it is to count everything in an entire warehouse, particularly if your warehouse is anywhere between 30, 40, 50, 100,000 square feet, it's almost impossible. But with a good warehouse management system, you should only have to pick or count the picking floors. The picking floor should be counted with much more frequency than the overstock levels because the probability of making a mistake in an overstock level is almost zero, whereas within the picking floor, you can make all kinds of errors. So anyways, a good warehouse management system will have the, the count button right here, and the system will prompt you to select what inventory site you're gonna count, and then it'll, it'll prompt you to scan the bin location. So once you get to the bin location, you're gonna scan it, and then you're gonna count all the product within it, and the system's going to create the inventory adjustment. So if there's any overages or shortages, that is when that overage or shortage will be applied to both your inventory and your accounting. Now the purpose of a cycle count or physical inventory count is to find out if, if anyone's stealing from you, if, if you're having people that are picking product and not scanning it, if you're having people that are not scanning the product that's being received into the warehouse, when you count, you reconcile any differences to your inventory, which is extremely valuable. So any good warehouse management tool must have the, the way to track and do your physical inventory counts right from a little scanner like this. Now, last but not least, this piece is specific to distributors or people who have delivery trucks where the product goes onto the truck and some product may get returned from the truck. So when you scan the product from the warehouse to the truck, the truck should go out and make deliveries. The thing is, in the distribution game or in the delivery game, sometimes you have product that's remaining on the truck and is gonna return back to the inventory at the end of the day. That is where a good inventory management system or warehouse management system should have a route returns option. So route returns are essentially things that got refused from a customer. They're things that got damaged in route. They're things that just need to come off the truck and go back to inventory. 
and basically what you should see when you open up the route return screen is you should see a list of all the, the, the trucks that have ended their day. Okay, so these are the trucks that have ended their day and it'll tell you right here, ready for route return. That indicates that we're ready to count the inventory being returned from that truck. So when you open it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scan the item. Once you scan the item, you're gonna classify it in one of three ways. Is the item damaged? Is the item going to be shipped for tomorrow or delivered for tomorrow? Is the item gonna return back to its picking bin because it's no longer needed by the customer? Well, that's what a good route return system does. And last but not least, automatically, let's say that the truck returned with 10 cases of an item. You counted eight that you wanna return back to stock. The two that were missing, the system should record that overage or shortage as a physical inventory count so that you can track that lost inventory. That is exactly how a route return system should work. If you have trucks without this, your inventory over time will no longer match the real inventory. Now, the hardest thing about implementing any of these systems is the process involved with getting all these different modules and these little scanners to work within the warehouse. Most people think it's as simple as handing this to someone and boom, it's gonna work. The bottom line is anyone that you're purchasing it from is going to bill you for uh, implementation hours, for training hours, for procedural hours to put the process in place to make sure your inventory is tracked. That is why it's so important for you to realize before you get into one of these projects, you're not just solving a small problem, you're literally tracking the heartbeat of your business. You will fix your out of stocks. You will fix your expired products in the warehouse. You will make sure nobody's stealing from you. You will almost always eliminate all shrinkage, okay? You will be so successful within your inventory that your business will transform and become exponentially more successful. That is why I definitely recommend if you go buy a warehouse management system, make sure that it encompasses the components that we've talked about today. Whether it's our system or anyone else's, as long as you do that, you will be extremely successful. So anyways, if you're really interested in checking out our system, please click the link down below or right above over my little shoulder here, or it might be on this side. Um, it's got a link to the website. You'll be able to sign in your information, tell us exactly what you're looking for, and we'll be able to get back to you to see how we can help you in your business. Apart from that, please like this video. Like this video, super important, because we will be posting videos like this every single week to help you in your business. Last but not least, down below is a little subscribe button. I'm gonna continue to post content. I'm even gonna make some vlogs where I go out to customers and I film their warehouses. If you're really interested in learning about distribution, learning about warehouses, transforming your business, this is a channel for you. Apart from that, I wanna thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great day. Take care.